Uh, this is Alicia from CodingCertification.org, or as we fondly like to call it, CCO. I am so excited to get to tell you uh, a little bit about HCC, or Risk Adjustment coding and the background behind it. There's a really interesting history about how it got started and um, let's start now and look into that history a bit. Okay first let's talk about what is risk adjustment. Risk adjustment is abbreviated as RA. It's the methodology utilized by the Centers for Medicare, which is called CMS, to adjust bids and payments to Medicare Advantage plans, which are called MAs, uh, based on plans member demographics, which include age, sex, and health status of those members. Okay, the CMS Risk Adjustment Program is prospective in nature, which means that ICD-9-CM diagnosis codes from the prior year and demographic information are measured and utilized in order to predict future cost to the plan by sick members and adjust payments accordingly. In 1997, the Balanced Budget Act uh, was the first year that risk adjustment methodology for Medicare Advantage, formerly Medicare Plus Choice, was first required. Uh, when CMS first implemented its risk adjustment model, it was only hospital inpatient diagnoses that were gathered and reviewed to determine actual payments to an MA plan. In 2000, along came benefit improvements and in, in the Protection Act, which is BIPA, and Congress decided to mandate ambulatory data to be additionally collected with the inpatient diagnosis codes. Okay, so where there was a gradual integration and it wasn't fully implemented until 2007 with a completion of 100% risk adjustment uh, payments for the majority of the MA organizations. There were a few uh, demonstration plans uh, which were not fully phased in until actually 2008. The Affordable Care Act prompted yet another shift in CMS reimbursement policy to MA plans by reducing federal payments to MA plans over time, which resulted in closing the gap on costs by bringing them closer to the median cost of care under traditional Medicare. Okay. So, another significant change in the landscape is that the MA plans were now going to be measured on quality within the STAR ratings program, which meant the bonus structure was changing and over the next few years only four and five STAR plans would receive bonuses as of 2014. This was a really significant change, guys. Okay. It's important to understand that the CMS Risk Adjustment Program is a huge player in the Affordable Care Act, ever evolving financial infrastructure, and that it, pay, it plays a critical role in preserving the private insurance market. The Risk Adjustment Program is the anchoring process for stabilization under the ACA, which is assisting in the overall methodology of factoring the true disease burden of an MA plan member or their members. Okay, so let's talk about what that means for risk adjustment in 2014. To learn more about HCC coding and HCC coding training, click the button below to go to codingcertification.org or watch the next HCC coding video in this series.